Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 148 of my Dragon Let's Play. Last week, that I have four mannequins here. Uh, I do want to put some kind of armor set on them. I'm letting you guys pick, so if you have any idea, like a cool set that you think, you know, obviously looks cool or you like the appearance of, let me know. I'll place them there. On this episode, I intend on starting another project. Um, I'm going to shy away from the house for a little bit, just for a little bit here. I mean, all I have to do is paint the walls, but what I want to do... One, I want to get the optic staff. That's uh, it's a it's, it's a staff that summons the twins, quote unquote. It doesn't like summon the actual twins. What it does is it's a it's a minion. And I'm looking for my black lens real quick. I had it on before I can't remember where I put it. Uh, there it is. Uh, it summons a minion that there's two of them. Uh, it's basically like the mini versions of the twins. You have spasmodism and retinalize or whatever the heck their their names are. I gotta remember now. Some of my stuff is over in here, like it should be. So there is some organization. I think I need Souls of Sight for it. So we may have to kill the twins again. Let me see how many. Twenty. So we do not have enough. So we have to kill the twins again. Uh, I don't think killing them with what I have, the bubble gun, is gonna be intelligent. However, the Flareon will probably do it, but I do need to heal, so I'm going to get hit. So, I think a good idea would be to get the Bat Scepter out. Just not have a roll in it? Did I never roll my Bat Scepter? I swear to God I had a godly Bat Scepter. There it is. 45 versus 52 magic damage. You bet I'll take the better one. Uh, what I'm going to do... Kill the twins. I do need the materials for them, and I can't remember what they were off the top of my head. I believe the twins use the souls of light. Let's check. Uh, I can't remember what it, what it takes to make the mechanical eye. Crafting, souls of light. They do use souls of light. Cool. So three lenses, five iron bars. Easy peasy. Three lenses, five iron bars. One, two, three, four, five. Now I think I saw three lenses over here. One of these chests. Do, do, do. Ah, I got plenty. So I don't need that many. I don't remember how many souls I need, but I'll just grab a few. And it's this chest, so let's just grab, oh, five or six or seven. I don't know. Anvil's here anyway. We needed six. So that'll be our twins. That's what we're going to use to kill them, summon them. Uh, the Bat Scepter is really going to be my go-to. I'm just going to use my wings to fly. Let's pick up a few magic potions or mana potions. Okay. I think I have plenty of healing potions in this one chest. If not, I'll just steal some. Yeah, let's just take a few. I'm not going to need them. We're going to get some anyway from the kill. That's just in case things get hairy. Uh, uh, any of these potions, really. I'm not, I'm not going to go all out here. This should be a joke. It should be very easy, given both our armor and our gear. Yeah, I'll take a regen potion just for shits and giggles. But that's what we'll do. We'll kill the twins. Uh, we'll try and get them away from the house. I don't feel like killing all my NPCs. Where's the little guy? Do I have a quest I can do? No, I've already done it. Cool. So, nighttime rolls around. We're killing the twins. The other project I was working towards, uh, other than the optic staff, is killing the dungeon guardian. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of some of the stuff. I can't. Killing the Dungeon Guardian will get us the Skeleton Key or whatever. That lets you have the Skeleton, like the Mini Skeletron pet. I do want to put more Pearlstone Bricks here. But yeah, I want that pet. Uh, my plan to do it is to make a new world. To make a long platform in the air. Now you can use Gravitation potions. you can run away, do whatever. I'm going to use a Sky Bridge made out of ice. And the reason I say ice is the Frostbark Boots plus ice equals a really, really fast me. Then we're going to use the Fast Shooting Range Weapon, probably like the... The Mega Shark, or you can even use like the chain gun thing with crystal bullets, the Gat Gatligator. That's super inaccurate. So that's what I'll do to kill him. Now hopefully, we'll get what we want. Because mm, you can only do like one damage to him because he has like 9,999 defense. So you want a really, really fast shooting weapon. So now we're waiting for nighttime. Now, I do want to move these chests so I can obviously place what needs to be placed. Why is the Tempest Dev? Is this where I deposited my first inventory? <laughs> let's summon the Tempest, or this, I mean, let's have that, because he'll, he'll shoot the twins for us, that'll be nice. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I still have to work on placing these things. Let's get rid of that. 
I did notice, I think this lamppost wasn't on. Yeah, I'm not sure what the what the big deal is with that one. I, I can't tell if it's linked to a torch or not, or one of those teleporters or not. I thought it wasn't. I thought I already checked. Any silver thorns while we wait? Teleport! Ooh, we got two. Let's get our silver thorns. Yeah, but right now we're waiting for nighttime. And then we're gonna do the other project, and then we're gonna start working on storage again. You know, I did say I'm gonna offer the world download at 150. Uh, just know that if I do offer the world download at 150, this is probably not gonna be done. <laughs> the chests are probably not all gonna be organized. Unless, of course, between this episode and the next, you know, I really just get to it. But it's almost nighttime. Uh, let's. Where do we wanna go to do this? I think I have heart lanterns over here. That, that'll probably just be a good idea just to go do it over here. So, let's go over yonder. And I'm not going to activate the trap. That's not going to help me. Let's use the crystal balls and added buff. So it's going to be a lot of the bad septic. Obviously, because this home's in and I don't have to worry about aiming. And it's very good with the mana. Very efficient. We can always use the flare on if we want to try and just be really, really damaging. But we're going to keep the bad septic in case we need to heal. So... I'm not going to get up, per up close and personal with the bubble gun. I think that'll turn, you know... I think that... No, that just won't turn out good. <laughs> I have no faith in that. It's now nighttime. Here we go. Let's start up with the... Uh... Oh, gotta be careful because the bubbles don't always get them. Only one of the bubbles hit! Oh my god, do they cause damage. There we go. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to follow me in a straight line, that'll be perfect. Bubbles will wreck your day. <laughs> the flare on wings, man. I can go so far. The type of staff is like never gonna hit. Wow, look at him. He's already in his next phase. Flare on so strong. I really need to play an AOA character. Use the flare on. Let's try the. Where's the white typhoon for chasing people? Can't do anything. Meh. And it's super inefficient when it comes down to mana. And he's dead. Let's go get our loot, our mana star. I'm shooting up there at him. There we go. And now we're going to get more souls of sight here. We should get enough just by killing him. And we're going to get some hollow bars and all that good stuff. We'll mine some lenses, but I don't think they drop them. It's flare on. It's so damaging! Holy shit! Uh, how many souls of sight are we going to get? Plenty. Flare on is so damaging! That is nuts! Like, I, I look, look at the time! I chewed through that thing! That is a joke! Okay! Uh, let's teleport down here. <laughs> I have the black uh, black lens. Uh, what else do we need? Souls of Sight. Do we need... Did we need lenses? I forget. You should probably learn to pay attention whenever I'm checking out the recipe. Hollowed bars, and we got plenty, so... <laughs> shit, we should be able to craft this with what we have on us. Let's go up to the anvil. And... Unless it's not a an anvil recipe. No, 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 Pixel. No. No. You stay in my inventory. Let's try this one more time. Let's actually read what he has to say. Mithril anvil. Oh, two lenses. How did I not see that? I just got too excited. That's what it was. We've got plenty of lenses over here. Uh, one, two. And that should be what we need. Optic staff, there it is. Now it only says 32 or 37 summon damage. Well, now obviously we get our prefixes and stuff. Let's go look at the the uh, the other staff. Now this one is this is a mythical one. The one that's in here, I think it's actually down here in this chest. This is a mythical one. And it does 71, but you have to think. This is 39 already, and it's not mythical. This summons two two minions, and his lasers are much quicker. And this one, I believe. I can't remember if he shoots the green fireballs or if he just does melee. I think he does melee. But this is a really good item. And... Did I put it in the chest? I did. Let's see what we can do about rolling it. Uh, where's the accessories chest? The temporary accessories chest? Where is it? Where's my discount card? Oh, is this empty? Let's get rid of that. Discount card! What'd I do with you? There you are. Uh, we do have a whole platinum. Let's see what we can do there. Let's make sure we equip it. Alright, where's the goblin? Goblin's right... yeah. Alright, let's see. I'm assuming mythical on this one is a thing. So that's what we're gonna go for. Ah, oh, no! 
Yo! <laughs> I didn't think I'd get it so quick. So now we just wasted a shit ton of money. And I've never seen Mythical be green, unless that's because it's a different item. But we just, I screwed the pooch. You can tell the disappointment. You can hear the disappointment. Oh, we're not going to get it. Yes! Burnt through so much more money than we needed to. Now 41, 41 times 2, obviously 82. Technically more damaging. So, let's resummon it just in case. But yeah, I just wasted so much money. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Fuck. Uh, let's put the gel away. Not sure what I'm doing these mushroom grass seeds. And let's get that. Only got one seed back. That sucks. I would have gone over there and planted some more. Let's quick stack those. Let's delete this. Delete this. We'll put our discount card away. So now I have the optic staff, though. <laughs> Honestly, that was way quicker than I thought it was. Dude, you got that. Sh you got that right away. I think it went in this chest. Yeah, it went in here. So uh, let's. Oh, I did figure out how this works. Apparently, you have to have the paint in your inventory, this equipped, and then whenever you place, whatever block you place is colored. So I would have had to have, you know, had that while I built my house. So obviously, that's not what we did. That sucks. I didn't even use my potions. <laughs> didn't need to. So let's go to the other world, and by other world, I mean a new world. I have not generated it yet. So it's gonna be a small world. It'll be quick. Uh, before I do though, uh, the block chest, is there any ice? That's quite a lot of ice. That's more ice. I think that's, I think that'll be good. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do with that. So I'm just gonna do save and exit. And we're gonna go single player to me. Gonna create a new world and we're gonna call this small mm, Dungeon Guardian. <laughs> um, now with Dungeon Guardian, as far as I'm aware, he spawns whenever, obviously, you go too deep in the dungeon. And too deep, I believe, is defined as zero on the depth meter. So I probably should have brought one with me, but that's okay. I mean, I can go get one. But right now, we're going to make the, the platform. Um, best thing to do is some kind of fast-shooting weapon, fast-firing weapon. And use crystal bullets because the shards, again, come out and they do one damage. I don't... I mean, you may be able to do like two damage to this guy, but as far as I'm aware, given the fact that his defense is 999, you really can only do like one damage. So, rather than having a really hard hitting weapon that's slow and only doing one damage, you should just get a really fast weapon that does one damage. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to just stick with the Mega Shark. It's what I have. It's, it's reasonably accurate and it shoots pretty fast. So, I'll be fine with that. And I'll just make a crap ton of bullets. I can even use that ammo crate thing as a, a buff for less less bullet consumption. But I'm not worried. Uh, we've got money. I mean, we can make our own bullets. No issue there. Why is there grass there? That's kind of weird. And let's just burn through here and you know break pots and get, get some chump change because we did a uh, we did a uh, you know just kind of screw up our money situation there. Given what we did. Now here's the dungeon. Cool. Found it already. Now, I'm not going to go in it already. What's that blue light? That's a, that's a water candle. Duh. Look at this dungeon being normal and not floaty like mine. Let's go take a look at the ocean as well. Maybe there's maybe the anglers over here. Get a quest. I'd laugh. You're dead. <laughs> I'm just exploring the surface. So what we're going to have to do is go up high anyway and then start making the bridge. And Small worlds are small, so we're already over here. Look at all this fancy stuff that... We don't have in our world. I'm gonna keep this because if I go and I try and make a pretty, a pretty like a uh, boating dock kind of thing here, I'm definitely gonna want some of these these neat, you know, like, like aesthetic items. I mean, we don't have that many in our world because it was already generated beforehand. So, kind of sort of missed out a little bit. All right, let's uh, take a look at down here. Anything? Any any angler NPC? Nah, I'm not worried about any of that stuff. No angler NPC. Fast moving speed underwater is glorious. Now we're gonna be able to go. I wonder if we can go up to space with these damn wings, just jumping off a relatively big mountain. They're so good. Let's find ourselves a sky island so we know what the where the other ones are, so we can build to avoid it. If that makes sense, because we're gonna be making essentially a giant ass straight line. And let's just go up from here, see what happens. 
See if we find ourselves a sky island. Wow, we hit the skybox. These wings are so good. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. We hit the damn skybox. I love flare on wings. There's gotta be a, an island here somewhere. We hit it and we didn't even use all of our wing power. That's insane. And let's go down and I think I just saw a sky island there. I saw something. Yep, there's a harpy. Yep, there we are. Cool. And let's just teleport into here. I did change the way these blocks look though. I remember them saying something about that. I'll take the coins. I'll take the builder potions. They're new to me. I'll take that. I can sell it. Whatever. Okay. Let's just open this door. So now we don't want to be affected by gravity uh, when we're trying to run away from this guy because he's not going to as far as I'm aware. So right here is probably a good spot to do it. And what I mean is let's, let's build down. And now I don't have my my uh, grappling hook, so this is going to be a pain in the butt until we, until we get started. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's kill these guys. No problems there. Pew pew. And let's go down. Oh, that. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Place it there. Now, let's get rid of these. I want to get rid of the clouds. I don't care about them. And now, let's see how well Smart Cursor treats me. So, this is gonna... Ooh. <laughs> Do you see how fast I'm going? This is what I'm going for. The speed. Now, I won't have to worry about him catching up to me and causing problems. Uh, let's resummon these and watch. You'll see them in action. Now, he's quick. His, his projectile is quick and accurate, unlike the Tempest Staff. That it's kind of, you know, hit or miss, in my opinion. The enemy has to be positioned pretty pretty perfectly. That is a quick shooting weapon. It's accurate. And then we also have the, the melee damage. And also, the best part, it penetrates. It will hit more than one enemy. So, if you had seven of these things, and you fought the destroyer, your minion alone could do more damage than you. I mean, depending on what weapons you're using. But it will do a crap ton of damage. Look at the double rainbow. There's a meme about this, guys. There's two rainbows on screen. Oh my god. Double rainbow. No, that is a meme older than dirt. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep going. Now we started at like 700 of these blocks. Now, technically, we don't have to make this platform all the way across the map. What I mean is, we have to run, shoot, 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 and then we're gonna have to recycle because we're probably not gonna kill him on our first run all the way across the map. He has a shit ton of HP, and we can only do one damage. So prepare your anus. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a fun, fun challenge and. It's one that's been mentioned in the comments. It's one that I've always kind of wanted to do. Uh, I also want the drop he has. It's a 100% drop, so you don't have to worry about screwing up. And something I don't know. If you kill him, does he, does he, like, not come back to the go in the dungeon? I mean, if you kill him, does that count, or do you still have to kill Skeletron? I think you still have to, but I've never looked into that. I have no idea. Now, that thing's just killing shit off screen. This is amazing. And yeah, they do have problems. This is something I've noticed. They have problems with walls. Uh, the Tempest Staff, the, the Sharknado, would just face through the wall. These guys, they have like hitboxes. They collide. Look at that thing just flying across screen. No shit. And now they're going to kill stuff. Bye bye, Cursed Sapling. No, Sapling, go away. Sapling, no. We are going to, I like how it's snowing because of what we're doing. Watch how fast I go. That's nuts. I mean, just the initial takeoff. I haul ass. I love it. So th this is flawless. Now you can, I believe, now I don't believe it's like exclusive to a console version of Terraria. I believe there's asphalt in the game right now, and it's just gel and stone, and I believe that makes you run faster. Now whether or not that makes you run faster than ice and the frostbark boots, I I don't know. But either way, the movement buff we have is, is all I need. I don't need to. I don't need that much. Enough just that he can't catch me, because he does one hit you. He hits 500 and some damage. I believe if you do like every buff in the game and you wear uh, the, the beetle armor, you could potentially only get hit for 480 HP. And then if you had the like the, the life potions and stuff, you could you could essentially tank a hit. But if they hit you again, you're dead. <laughs> We're out of those blocks, so that is 700 some blocks placed. And of course, I'm just gonna keep messing them up. Let me get my mouse extended like that. This would probably work better if I wasn't going so fast on here. Uh, it feels like a normal dirt block, but uh, this is what we have, this is what we're dealing with. 
Now let's check the map. Look how far we've gone. It's not bad, but it's not... Yep, whatever, my torch is gone. <laughs> not not too far, not far enough, I don't think. Let's just keep going. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is probably go back to my world. Deposit my money, in case, he die, in case I die, I get one hit, I don't feel like losing my coins. Uh, then what I'll do is... He's dead. <laughs> ah, shit, what was I gonna say? Ah, uh, no! Oh no, get a bed near the dungeon guardian, uh, dungeon spawn. Uh, set my spawn over there, in case I die. Also, get the depth meter, because that'll make it easier to, you know, tell as soon as he's gonna spawn, because I believe as soon as he hits zero, that's when he comes at you. And you have to be ready for him, because he flies off screen, and he just hits you. If he touches you, you're dead. So it's probably gonna be an episode of me exploding. <laughs> if that's what you're into, uh, prepare to see me exploding. <laughs> I hope not, but I, once we get him up here, I think we'll be able to kill him. I have no idea how much ammo I'm gonna need either, though. I'll probably just bring a shitload. And then, of course, these minions will do a little bit of extra damage. And then, of course, you know, the mini shark, or the mega shark, has its own, like, ammo prevention. I mean, you don't lose ammo always with that thing. It's got, like, a 33% chance or whatever to not consume ammo. And then I'm going to use that in conjunction with, I think it's 50, actually, with the, the, the mega shark. And then I'm going to use that in conjunction with the ammo crate thing that we got from the Traveling Merchant forever ago. So, that'll help. Look at that, they destroyed that thing. It's awesome. It's a good use for those black lenses. The only other use I know is sunglasses. But we have clamshell thingy in our hair. A hairpin. So we're good. You know, we're manly. We're incredibly masculine. Let me check the map here. Oh my god. We, we've essentially done half the map. I mean, maybe a third. We're, we're approaching half the map. Let's go a little bit more. And then I, I want to do like a full sprint across it to get a feel for it. And then if I'm comfortable with it, I'll say let's keep it that way. I don't want to do the, the whole map, that'd be crazy. And plus I don't think I have enough ice for that. But as soon as I tap W, or rather D, look how fast I go. Just the immediate takeoff. It's like I have Hermes boots active 24-7. Pretty cool. Nope. I keep doing that. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, see this is what happens when Smart Crusher gets confused. Nope, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we're good. Smart Crusher, please. You can keep going. Just keep going, Smart Crusher. Keep going. I might just use all these blocks, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna put... Oh, I guess I should put torches up here. Because it's gonna get pretty dark. The only light's gonna be my, uh... My, uh, wisp. Oh, another floating island. Got them 200 ice blocks. Yeah, I think I should just keep going. Let's just finish the ice blocks. But what I'm gonna have to do to make a trip around is probably Rod of Discord behind him. Or maybe Rod of Discord below, fly up, and then Rod of Discord again. Uh, try and essentially avoid any hits. Any hits is too many, because I will buy. Especially since we're wearing mage armor. There is no hope of surviving. Guys, get up here, save me. Kill it. Nice. I love these these pets. They're, they're really good. Get rid of that. Smart cursor back on. Only 100 blocks left. You're almost there. Think of, think of this guy, guys. We started with nearly 2,000. We have 100. We're almost done. Nope. Don't misplace blocks. Stop misplacing blocks. And now it's going to get dark. So now we're going to see what it's going to look like at night. Probably shouldn't have deleted that gel I had on me. This is also a good idea. I'm sure you're hearing the star in the background. This is a sky bridge. People do this to collect fallen stars. Uh, so at night you would come up here and you would run across and all the fallen stars would be right there. Easy to get. So I have four gel. That's not gonna make me many torches. I already have some on me. So let's see how far we got. That's about half the small map. What are you guys trying to come after me for? I I have the twins protecting me. I like how their lasers glow. So cool. Now to get back up there without my hook. I should have no problem if I get a good jump. I can always wrap Discord. But there. We're good. Let's uh do the occasional torch placement. Nothing too fancy. Just enough that when we're up here at night, because it's probably going to take a day or two. <laughs> it's going to be a while. It really is. Fight's gonna take a bit. Uh, oh, missed that placement. 
Just that placement. And you have seven left. We haven't even come across the yellow... The yellow ice. <laughs> the piss ice. No, the pink ice yet. And now I'm almost out of torches. And this is just so that I can see a little bit better at night. But let's see how long it takes to get over here. There's the pink to uh, the pink ice. So now we have 700 of these. And all the fallen stars in the world. Okay. I like it. These guys will be a good good additional buff. What we'll have to do it's gonna be it's gonna be weird. We're going to have we're gonna have to do it perfectly. Uh, we're gonna have to go down here, we're gonna have to aggro them. Try and rob Discord away basically, just get the hell out of there. Fly and just keep floating over until we get on the land bridge and then we're gonna have to start the fight. Now if we die it's gonna suck. So I'll tell you what, let's go over here. No 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 no, let's do it this way. Let's let's go over there prepared. Save and exit. Uh, single player, and we'll go to my let's play world, my main world. Do do do. Waiting. Turn smart cursor off before I accidentally some things. Uh, let's just activate this for shits and giggles. Now I want the depth meter. Hopefully I did not sell it. I hope I did not sell it. Cause it's not exactly a, a very necessary accessory. Hmm. Did I sell it or did I combine it into something else? I probably sold it. But I still need to come over here to get a bed. It's fine, I mean, we'll find out where Zero is. Because we'll see him spawn them. If we die, we die. I'll just go off that. Depth meter. I don't see it in there. Hmm. I feel like we sold that forever ago. Okay, well, we'll take the bed. And we will have to use... You know, we have to make a housing for the bed, so we have to use walls and door. Stuff like that. Let's quick stack grab a potion here. I do not have one of these potions. No, I do. <laughs> so, let's get some doors out of one of these chests. Where do I put my doors? Up, oh, up, oh, there they are. Take two doors, we have a bed, we're gonna need some walls. I don't know if obsidian counts. Uh, we can just use some wood from over there. It does not have to be a big house. It just has to be a house big enough to be considered housing. And then we can sleep in there. So that'll set our spawn. Uh, I'll deposit like my coins before I go over. But we'll do that in the next episode, guys. The episode's getting a little bit long. Uh, again, we're preparing for the Dungeon Guardian fight. We got the Optic Staff, which is really awesome. Dungeon Guardian fight's going to be uh, finding out where he spawns, trying to run away like a girl, get to the surface, and gun him down. So... Hopefully that goes well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.